He says, that the moment you accept the paycheck, your brain goes dead. He says, as long as you're hungry, you'll think. Well, I wasn't poor by most people's standards, but I came from a family with a poor attitude, if you know what I mean, because rich, poor, middle class, poverty starts with a fundamental attitude. So I was in Hawaii, I was nine years old. Uh, my father was the head of education, you know, PhD. Very smart man, good guy. And for some reason, we moved across town and I went to a school with rich kids. And these guys, their fathers owned the banks, they owned the plantations, they owned the car dealerships, they owned the meat packing company, they owned the ranches. And I'm going, how come my dad doesn't own that? So I remember raising my hand when I was nine years old, talking to my, ninth, my fourth grade teacher. And I said, you know, what am I gonna learn about money? She says, the love of money is the root of all evil. And I said, what am I in Sunday school? And I was this punky little nine-year-old kid. And she says, we don't teach money at school. I said, why not? And she couldn't answer me. And she got very flustered. She said, sit down, take your seat. And then I got curious. I said, why don't we learn about money? She says, go ask your father. He's, the, he's my boss. So my father was the head of education. I go home and ask him, I said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and says, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. I said, but you get a job to earn money. He goes, no. You're supposed to just get a job. I went, no, 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 no. Isn't the purpose of a job to earn money? He goes, you're correct. I said, so why don't I just learn about money? I can skip the job part, you know? And he got flustered and he said, if you want to learn about money, why don't you ask your best friend's father about money? And I said, why ask him? He says, because Mike's father is an entrepreneur. And I said, what, am, what are you? He says, I'm an employee. I'm a government employee. And I went, oh, what's the difference? He says, the difference is an entrepreneur must know about money, or they're, they're no longer entrepreneurs. And he says, an employee doesn't have to know anything about money, because the government will take care of them, the company will take care of them. So I'm kid, I'm all confused. But I took my dad's advice, and I trundled over to Mike's father's office and knocked on his door and I said, hey, I'm here, nine years old, teach me about money. He says, beat it, kid, you know. And finally, through persistence, my rich dad started teaching me about money on one condition. And that condition was he would never pay me. He says, the moment I pay you, you think like an employee. He says, that's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. And now I'm nine years old, my head's going cracking in half. He says, you never want a paycheck. You understand that, kid? I said, okay, I got it. And he would teach me about money. But the way he taught me about money was playing Monopoly. Finally, one day I got upset. I said, well, when are you going to teach me about money? He says, what do you think we're doing? Said, we're playing Monopoly. He goes, no, 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 no. What do you think we're doing? We're playing Monopoly. He says, what do you think we're doing? So I don't know. I'm teaching you about money. He says, one of the greatest ways to acquire great wealth is playing Monopoly in real life. Four greenhouses, one red hotel. But is that all there is? He goes, that's it. And he says, what do you think I'm doing? And I went, I don't know. So then he took me out and he showed me his greenhouses. And 10 years later, when I was 19, I was now in school in New York, and I come back to Hawaii and Rich Dad had bought the biggest piece of land smack dab in the middle of Waikiki Beach. And when you go to Waikiki Beach today, you'll see the Hyatt Regency Hotel. That was his hotel. So that's how I learned about money. So today when people ask me what I do, they know me as the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I just say I play Monopoly. So I own greenhouses, I own big hotels, I own oil wells. 
golf courses, businesses, and just playing Monopoly. That's mm. all I do.